Hello there, my beautiful collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, collective? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ring a ring. Oh, collective. God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil. As is my beautiful collective. Collective, I'm feeling that little ping on my heart. And there is absolutely no reason for it right now. So, what's up, collective? I feel like someone's sending out that distress signal. What's up? What's up, collective? What's going on in your energy? This is you, someone you're dealing with. What's going on? You know that little feeling like someone's tugging on your heartstrings. 29. To be enlightened, lighten up. 9 plus 2 is 11. There's the uh, two bananas with the freaking uh, rainbow between. The old banana pill joke. You got the universe there with the uh, tongue sticking out. Uh, something y'all was thinking the uh, thumb, you know, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Lighten up, know what energy is yours. Don't take on any energy that is not yours, though. 21, polish your mirror for perfect clarity. Understand what is yours and what is not. You see, I get that turtle energy there. Uh, keep that hard, protective outer shell you got. A lot of you, that's your defense mechanism right now. You're doing really good, okay? Uh, you're doing the work you need to do. You're trying to stay positive. You're trying to move forward. Any obstacles brought your way, keep continuing on that path, 21 and 29, which is eight uh, in between. So you got the eight of wands. You're getting clarity. You could be hearing some conversations, hearing some news, finding out what's going on. Eight of swords. That sort of stuck mental energy. I'm feeling it's more of a mental sort of uh, trap. Um, I don't want you in it because that is not your energy. Eight of Cups, you got to walk away uh, with the Eight of Pentacles and, and focus on you. Uh, eight energy there. So harmony, balance, good things are coming in. Stay on that trajectory. Stay on that path, okay? Well, fuck, I just want to do this again. So collective just... Uh, be calm, cool, collected. Go out, get your get yourself grounded. Get back to nature if you can. Um, I, I don't know if this is your energy or if we're getting crosswatcher energy. It's um, I'm feeling that sort of tug on my heartstrings. So it's, it's, I know someone needs some help. The universe wants to co-conspire with you. Twenty six. Trust your gut, your guidance, your intuition. Oh, what was the name of that game that they had out? Was it Simon? Simon Says? Uh, that's drawn me to that. Some of y'all, uh, Uno, could mean something. Uh, this emotional sort of uh, energy going on there into the Fibonacci sequence, the golden ratio. Uh, things are going the way they're supposed to. It's just let nature take its course. Just let things naturally evolve. How can this be a wonderful win, win, win? 16. Uh, that's, that's the universe conspiring with you to actually create something beautiful. You got to trust it. Go with the energy. Uh, trust what energy is yours and, and let go of what is it. Guys, I pulled a couple readings where I wanted to pull reversals in and it just didn't feel right. There is a, a lot of things falling into place in the background that you're not aware of because I don't think you need to be. Uh, you got to let that, that universal will of fortune take its, uh, take its toll. You just got to wait this out and let, let the endings happen that need to happen. Because you see, she's on that phone with somebody. And this is the Ten of Swords energy. Uh, so don't take on any energies that aren't yours. For a lot of you, those left out in the cold. That, that's sort of that distress signal that you're he hearing. But it's like you're going to have to get into tough love mode here. Okay? So someone's feeling a sort of way. What were they feeling before? What was their thoughts and intentions before? Uh, work love life on this, y'all. Ten of swords it. It's like once you pull away, uh, they can feel that. And a lot of you are feeling that that sort of release of that negative energy. And you've been carrying it so long that it does feel like a loss. But it's it's not. It's all to your benefit at the end of the day. Yeah, six of pentacles. It's all going to bring about that balance that's needed.
It's like you want it to be a victory. You want it to be a win for you. You want it to be that sort of six of wands, overcoming that fear. But it's like as, as you win, there's always a loser, right? Someone's always kind of left behind. Someone's left out in the cold. I think you're picking up a lot on that, that left behind energy because you're filling your own fucking cup right now. Which is going to be very important for a lot of you. Sagittarius showing up. Yeah, five of cups. This is that energy, right? This is that sort of three of cups energy. The, you know, uh, the grass was greener. She's down there, that river of sorrow. You see two cups behind. A lot of you, that, that perfect union, that perfect partnership is, is behind you. You're just not seeing it. Because you, someone needs to grieve the process. See, there's that six of wands energy. Uh, that's how you grow and evolve. <sighs> What's after that six of wands energy? The seven of pentacles. Uh, you know, kind of growing a little impatient. Uh, I feel like you you feel like you're lacking, like you're not doing enough. But, you know, you can't sit there and watch a plant grow, y'all. It's going to be very long. Uh, labor, and well, not really labor intensive, but it's definitely going to be very uh, draining on your time and energy. Because ain't nothing going to happen. You ain't going to see it shit happen. Um so don't expect to. You just keep doing you. Okay, between the Five of Cups and the Six of Wands is Four of Pentacles. Someone's holding on, but someone's also uh, in a little bit of a jam. Are you sitting there? You got your little extra going. You're, you're doing pretty good, but uh, a little impatient energy there. Six of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles, please, Spirit. The Seven of Cups. Now, I thought I had these all in the upright. The Seven of Cups in reverse. Know what energy is yours and know what is it. Return that shit to sender. Uh, right? If it's not your broken heart, uh, don't worry about it. Some of you, why are you feeling that way? Why do you have that little tinge on your heart like someone's trying to pull on your heartstrings? Judgment, as above, so below. So let it be. Seven Eleven on the phone when I said that. Let it be. That's Gabriel blowing that horn. Hell yeah, it is. Do you hear that playing? Do you know who's playing? Why, it's Gabriel, Gabriel playing. Gabriel, Gabriel saying, will you be ready to go when I blow my horn? As above, so below, y'all, there you go. You got to let it take place. But with that, yeah, uh, there, there is that release of energy. You see, that's the dead rising there in praise. Uh, uh, it's going to say meeting your maker, but that doesn't really come across as being positive, right? That tends to have a negative connotation to it. But a lot of you, this is falling to your knees and praying. This is this is rejoicing in the good that you have. This is rejoicing in the, in the opportunities that you have. This is understanding, hey, you know what? I might not have everything, but damn, uh, at least I don't have nothing. <laughs> I have nothing, nothing. Nothing if I don't have you. Ooh, getting some old Whitney in there too, huh? Damn, what else on this judgment? Let's throw three cards down. Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> Knight of Cups in reverse. Well, and something. Uh, we got two major cup cards here in reverse. That page of swords. Who's gawking, stalking, and watching your happy ass right now? Queen of Cups in reverse. Uh, someone who has no love, okay? Now, I, uh, someone whose cup has spilleth over because they just spilt it themselves. Now they're needing a refill, but they don't want to pay for it. Oh, shit. Y'all, I'm drawing, I'm seeing that meme in my head of that lady at the restaurant with the gallon jug going over to fill up for a pop. I'm totally seeing that energy. Some of y'all, someone wants to go fill up on your cup of love. Uh, don't let them. That's why you got to shut off them emotions right now. Okay? Uh, no one drinks for free around here. Sort of, sort of energy. Okay? Uh, kind of rallying... Um, that that uh, that self love type energy, the tower, the two of pentacles. Yeah, this is what someone's having a hard time with. But collective, I think you've got you've got a grip of it. You got a grip of it. You got a grip on it. That Sagittarius energy there. Some of y'all realize it's a fine line between a tower moment and just worrying about nothing. It's like you either worried about nothing or you're worried about everything. You got to let that shit go. Towers bring about the needed change in a situation. You focus on healing yourself. 
Hi, oh, sweet Jesus Collective. I know this energy is, is uh, following a lot of you around, uh, but it's a residual energy. Once you're able to kind of allow the things to detach from you that you don't need, you allow that judgment to come into play, y'all. Right? You're ready to, to face your maker. You're ready to do whatever you need to do. You don't really give two shits. Um, this is that. I'm picturing that as kind of being the, the purging of the, the negative energies that you have going on around you. It's that sort of uh, wiping away the residual energy. Um, you're not giving it to just everybody. You're not putting forth the time, work, and effort into situations anymore. Especially if you know they're not, they're not really going to benefit you in the end. Who benefits from it? Who benefits from it? This Queen of Pentacles, you're blocking, you're blocking your 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 heart chakra energy. You're keeping that shit close to you. You're only giving to close close friends, family, and loved ones that uh, I hate to say deserve it, but for some of you, yeah, the ones that deserve it. There's some that don't. That's like, right, no, no free refills here. You're watching to make sure. You're watching to make sure, Collective, that there is no free refills on your part, right? Or on your uh, expense for some of you. It's free to them, but it's not free to you. Someone, you yeah, had turn it down. It is a turn off of your emotions, you guys. Don't just stay grounded. Page of Wands in reverse. It's not time. Watch any contracts that you are signing now. Ace of Swords. Get the help that you need. Get the, get the uh, information that you need. If you're going into a situation contractually that you're not aware of, some of y'all emotionally, if you're hitting up some emotional uh, sort of uh, commitment here or um, um, start, don't. Well, I mean, look at the fine print. Read the fine print. Go over it with the fine tooth comb. Now is not the time to bring in. Uh, it's like it's not the time for you to give out of that energy to just anybody that comes up. This is like you're doing the, the sort of... Um, what do I, it's, it's like home buying, right? Someone's doing a credit check. Only you're doing a credit check emotionally on people's asses. You're like, I don't think so. I don't think so. You don't get to come play here because emotionally you're bankrupt. Four cups in reverse with the page of wands. Just everything is fine. See, this is someone that knows the situation is dead, but they still holding on. You see that? The everything is fine card. This is why you got to watch any contracts that you get into. Anything... And, you know, contractually, guys and gals, like I said, that could be an emotional contract you have with someone. That could be a physical contract you're going to be uh, signing or uh, dealing with somebody. Between the Page of Wands in reverse and the Ace of uh, Swords is that uh, Page of Pentacles, right? Wait before you write the check. Wait before you give to the situation. Wait until you see what, what actually manifests from this. Uh, for a lot of you collective, this is that sort of double pronged energy. Okay. You got the one that's pulled away and now you got someone that's chasing it with the, the fucking like phone charger. Someone's looking for a free, uh, charge on your behalf. Some of you that emotional charge, they want that, that connection back because they can't create that energy on their own. They sicken in their head. Four of swords here. Some of y'all, it took this person out. They can't tap into that good, good energy, right? They can't get that good spring Fiji water. There's Jackie. I said that good spring Fiji water. They don't have access to it. You do. For a lot of you, these energies could heal themselves and do the work. Are they going to? That's the question. Uh, is that your problem or concern? No, it's not. You got to let people do what they going to do. King of Cups energy. King of Cups in reverse. Queen of Cups in reverse. Masculine or feminine energy here. You got someone that's just all fucking emotionally bankrupt. Now they're feeling a, so, a certain sort of way. Uh, and, and, you know, it's like they made their bed. They got a lie in it. Uh, friends, family, loved ones, however it uh, goes in your situation. Collective. Two of Cups. Two of Cups. That bridges the gap between the Page of Pentacles, the Star card, that Ten of Swords in reverse, and the Four of Swords, with the uh, Ace of Wands here in the in the upright. You're gonna know what to give to and what not to give to. But you, it's not you don't don't purchase it, don't get involved in it, don't sign the contract if it's just based on something emotionally that you're gonna receive from it. This is like you need to make sure that there's some actually some stability built in there, and that uh, you're actually gonna. 
it's like a guaranteed return on investment. Uh, now, when it comes to interpersonal relationships, that just means you know this person kind of plays fair. This person uh, equally, it's that uh, equal give and take of energy, energy, ideas, um, emotions, right? Uh, this is the friend that's around in the in the in the darkest days. This is the person that's around when you know you don't have a cup, and they're going to help fill your cup with what the hell they have. But you definitely got a Queen of Cups and a King of Cups here that have absolutely no emotion. Except self-doubt and fear. Self-doubt and fear. Did you see how these cards show up on this reading? That's someone's thing. There's self-doubt and their fear. Now you try to work and get into some sort of relationship with someone like this. Look at all that fear and doubt they have with them. Very, very... A uh, little emotional stability there. Some of y'all could be like almost non-existence. That two of cups energy there. That ace of wands. The will of fortune. Trust what energy is yours and, and let go of what is it. What's going to be to your betterment? Anything you look at. Work, love, life, relationships, partnerships. Whatever you got going on. If it ain't going to bring positivity into your situation... Do you need it? Do you want to take on unnecessary burdens? Why would you do that? That will of fortune energy. A lot of you are feeling that that detachment. You know, <sighs> spirit will block your blessings from you if you're dealing with the wrong energies. Right? This is that energy of, uh, yeah. You know, this come up again in another reading, you guys. It is almost a repeat of energies, but that's because that will of fortune is getting ready to... To, to show up for somebody. Picture that as that New Year's Eve ball dropping. Um, you're going to be able to get your rewards as soon as you sort of pass the test. This is that upgrade in energy. This is that you're going to take that chance on that wheel of fortune. You see, she's just sitting there. You'll know when it's time to take that spin. Spirit will let you know when it's time to take that spin. This, because this right here is going in with the offer. This right here is realizing, yep, that's going to work for me. So I'm going to use that in my situation. Because it's going to be beneficial to me. That page of pentacles is actually the one holding that will of fortune. What starts as something so simple can turn into something very, very good for you, uh, collective. It's all in how you handle the situation. Because you got someone here that's emotionally just bankrupt. You try to uh, you try to work with this person or deal with this person, they're going to take all that freaking beautiful uh, love you got in your cup and just drain you dry because they need it. Because they feel in a certain way. They are stuck. Some of them are physically ill. Uh, it's that judgment card energy. It's that will of fortune energy. You got to allow it to, to, to play its course. Because you're going to know when it's time to move forward and sign on the dotted line and do what you need to do, collective. Eight of Wands, the Fool, and the Two of Pentacles. Opportunity is going to come at you when you least expect it. You're just out there living and loving life. Uh, and it definitely pro could be a call or a message you've been waiting on. And you're going to receive it when you're just out there living life and loving life, right? Don't put anything on hold waiting for some sort of communication to come in. Even if it's, uh, you know, dealing with a move or, or something that is very big, uh, you know, if you can't exactly do anything to be proactive now, uh, think of something. You know, if you are planning a move, well, maybe start packing up some of the shit that you don't, you know, you're not going to immediately need. Kind of put that energy out there while you're waiting. For some of you, when it comes to your work, keep doing the groundwork, right? Keep trudging forward and doing what you need to do. Some of y'all are definitely going to get uh, some communication out of the blue that I think you're really going to like. You're just going to be going about your day. This is as soon as you put out your manifestation. Guys and gals, you kind of forget about it. You just let it kind of work itself into the background. Yeah, you know, when you say your prayers and every now and then come in and visit it, just pop them intentions out. Please and thank you, Spirit. Please and thank you, Universe. And move on your way. 
It's that sort of plant it and forget it type energy, right? You can't really watch a plant grow. Uh, even when you see them videos, it's time lapse. It takes a while. So don't waste time just trying to watch something go. Between the Eight of Wands and the Fool card, you got the Eight of Swords and the Six of Swords. Moving out of that mindset that's keeping you stuck or don't get stuck in a mindset, you got to move the fuck away from that energy. You do. The choice is yours. Because while you, it's, it's, it's like you're waiting for that message. You're waiting for that sign. You are waiting for... Uh, the answer. But while you're waiting, don't don't get caught in that trap that normally traps you up. There's still things you can be doing to be proactive, even if you are just waiting for the call, right? Uh, if it is about moving, you could start packing your shit up. You could start gathering up boxes. You can start doing a few things now uh, while you're waiting to do what you need to do. But don't get trapped into uh, any energy that just overwhelms your cognitive uh, capabilities and keeps you stuck go out live life have fun king of wands energy this is like you're waiting to call the movers and then you know things can take place this is that ace of wands energy as well spirit will give you that wand when it's time for you to do what you need to do when it's time for you to sign on that dotted line when it's time for you to to move forward in the energy that you need to because right now this is that stagnant sit around and wait energy but when you're in that energy, that's why it's imperative while you're manifesting that you at least keep a positive mindset. It's what you do, what you think, how you operate in that moment of stagnation. Because the message is going to come to you. You're going to hear the news when you're out there living life and loving life. Ain't no use in putting everything on hold waiting for a decision. Two of swords in reverse. Yeah, you're not blocked anymore. You're not blocked. You're not blocked. Five of Wands, you're not in conflict with yourself. You're not in conflict with things. You realize things move at the pace that they're supposed to, especially when they're on divine timing with that Will of Fortune energy. The message will come soon enough. You'll get the message when it's time. You'll get the message when you're uh, living life and loving life, when you're not waiting around the phone. You know, those of us that remember 2233 on the phone, when the phone was on the fucking wall, you're not sitting around waiting for the message anymore. You can go out and do your damn uh, business. You can go out and have fun and live your life. That message will get to you when it needs to. The right people have your number. Yeah, you got to walk away from that negative thinking. That five of swords to me just feels like any self-doubt that you have, any, any more work you need to do uh, to sever the ties of people, places, and things you're holding on to. The magician, again, it's all manifesting energy. Some of y'all are master manifestors out there, but now you're just, you're getting a little uh, anxious that the manifestation hasn't happened yet. So now you're hounding on that. You're putting like a time frame to it, and the universe doesn't like to be rushed, y'all. Um, you put your prayers out there, you put your affirmations, and, and then you just kind of leave it. Leave it to spirit. Go about doing your thing. Go about living life, loving life. The message will come when you need to. Spirit will make sure you get it. I have a pentacles energy. Anymore, I'm being drawn to kind of philanthropic uh, uh, sort of philosophy in these readings. Uh, giving back when you can. Helping out when you can. Doing what you can uh, if you can. It's not always about money. Some of y'all, it's out to actually volunteering and getting out there and doing what you can to help. Every little bit helps. Two of Wands and the Five of Wands in reverse, or Two of Swords in reverse and the Five of Wands in reverse is this world card. You got to disconnect sometimes. You got to disconnect sometimes and look at things uh, in a very positive manner. The Nine of Cups. This is that while you're manifesting. Because there's that Nine of Cups, but you see she sees a little impatient. Bitch, it has Nine of Cups behind her, but it's that impatience there. She's not seeing what the hell she needs to do. This is that idea of upgraded energy as well. While you're manifesting, little choices come along. Kind of like extra credit points to kind of see if you're going to get maybe awarded an extra spin here and there. An extra opportunity. Be mindful of the energy that you are manifesting in while you're sitting there waiting for your manifestations. Between the world and the nine of cups, three of pentacles. You still need to be out there working and focusing on what you need to do. Work on being creative, getting out there and just having fun, letting letting loose, trying something new, 
not being afraid between uh, between the three of pentacles the five of pentacles we got this justice uh here in reverse y'all that's interesting because i was not planning on reading um reversals today This is that energy of you also going in and trying to help wherever you can. Five of Pentacles there, Justice in Reverse, and the Three of Pentacles. Helping to, to kind of guide and help uh, others get out of the cold. Understanding how that works and using that. Yes, there's always going to be injustices out there, guys and gals. But, you know, uh, look for the helper energy. Knight of Wands in Reverse with the High Priestess. You're going to know when it's time to take action and do what you need to do. You're going to know that message hasn't shown up yet. Trust your gut, your guidance, your intuition. A lot of you pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to readings that you get. Uh, do you keep getting the same message over and over again? Are you paying heed to it or are you just disregarding it and focusing on something else? Uh, yeah, when Most High Divine speaks to you, it, it's going to be in many different ways, many different forms. For some of you, many different people. Queen of Swords, it's up to you to discern what is for you and what is not. It is up to you to discern uh, the information you need to take and the information you need to discard. You know what energy is yours. You can't be, uh, this is like you can't be getting all excited about a positive reading if you haven't even been in contact with somebody. Uh, you know, uh, being proactive, uh, money coming in, opportunities coming in, but are you out there kind of manifesting them, right? You can't get a job for a job, a call for a job, if you ain't put your fucking uh, uh, resume in, right? So you got to do like the groundwork, and then you can wait to hear back. Some of you, this is multiple opportunities you've got out there that you're waiting to hear back on. This is like that, uh, you can manifest all you want to, but the key to manifesting is manifesting it, putting it out there, and then just letting it kind of do its thing. It's floating around out there. You just got to wait till it's, it's your turn on that Wheel of Fortune. Because the Wheel of Fortune energy is so many things falling into place. Okay, even on this world card, right? There's so many things that's got to fall in place in order to get this new start. So you can't move right now, right away. But you can start gathering up your boxes. You can start packing away some of the shit that you know you don't immediately need. Um, if you're waiting on a job to call you, you could always take on a job that maybe pays a little less while you're waiting for the bigger opportunity, the better opportunity. You know what I mean? Some of you are waiting for that sign. You're waiting for that message. You're holding on because you feel like that's the one thing that can change your life. And if, But if that don't happen, you, you feel like uh, there's nothing you can do. But you can. Uh, there's nothing I can do, total eclipse of the heart. Uh, a lot of you pulling back that energy. You're not filling just everybody's cup. You're being very focused and very mindful of uh, your love right now and, and, and who you give your time and energy to. It's like there has to be some sort of return on investment. Uh, if it's, uh, you know, uh, volunteer work. Uh, you give of that because you know you're helping the greater good, right? Uh, interpersonal relationships, you're not always guaranteed that, right? Um, damn collective, what's the bottom of this deck? Queen of Cups in reverse. Some of y'all definitely dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There is no love there, though. There is absolutely no love. Where is the love? Queen of Cups in reverse, the sword, uh, Page of Swords and the Knight of Cups in reverse. <laughs> there is something between you and this moving on emotionally. And when that emotion could be, maybe it's a relationship, maybe it's a partnership, maybe it's reconnecting with lost friends, family, and loved ones. I don't know what it is, but there's definitely some energy that's sort of cock blocking. So trust it. You got to trust it. It's there for a reason. It's that built-in default. Queen of Pentacles there with that judgment card. With the Seven of Cups in reverse underneath. Gabriel's getting ready to come blow his horn on your behalf. You just gotta stay, you just gotta stay grounded and focused and uh, reserve, reserve your sort of love. Uh, reserve that energy. 
Don't, don't, don't take on any emotions that you know are not yours. Work through them. Let them flow through you. And you're going to be good. So, I don't know. Didn't we pull like three different readings on this? So, take what reading's yours. Maybe it's, they're all going to, all three going to resonate. Maybe one or two. Does that manifesting energy, while you're waiting for your manifestation to come true, what are you doing to be proactive uh, in your life right now, right? She's got them nine of cups behind her, but you see she still ain't happy. So, ooh, you know, that's not a good energy to manifest in. Don't be so impatient. Divine timing is beautiful, but you got to trust spirit. The spirit's going to bring in that, that spin on that will when it's time. Uh, what are you doing while you're waiting? What is your mindset while you're waiting? Collective, I love that energy. Um, don't get caught up. Don't, don't let your emotions take over. Try not to make any emotion-based decisions at this point in time. So you get the clarity that you need, any contracts that you get into, uh, whether they be written, uh, verbal, or emotional. Uh, kind of do your research and, and kind of see and make sure everything is right. Some of y'all may have to call in the professionals to, to make sure that your situation is, is positive, to make sure that the contract is good. Uh, emotionally, you know, is it, is it worth the time and energy uh, that you're going to have to extend in order to give to that situation? You can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring a ling a ling. Yeah, divine timing is, is <laughs> it's not on your time, so don't put a time frame on it. Just be mindful while you're waiting for that opportunity to arise. Keep your thinking positive. Keep There's something you could be working on and doing in the background while you're waiting for uh, your chance on that uh, spin on that Wheel of Fortune. Okay, it's like the price is right, right? You're not up there spinning that wheel yet. Your ass might still be sitting out in the audience, but you're still cheering others on. You're still playing the game along with everybody else. Even though it's not your spin on that Wheel of Fortune, you're still engaged. You're still giving your energy. You're still giving your attention to it, right? And you're you know, hoping somebody gets that. And I think 3232 on the phone. And you're hoping that everybody that gets up there and gets that spin on the wheel uh, gets a good spin, right? Oh, collective, I love that. Peace, love, and light. 